Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, right out there about a thousand miles, we've got Hurricane Darby uh, weakening, thank goodness. It was up to a Category 4 hurricane, now down to a Category 2, and just starting to get some rain from that. And it's going to continue to weaken as it approaches the island. But it's going to pack some moisture behind it and just now starting to see that, which is good. We've been very, very dry out here. Going to catch a lot of water today. And that's a great thing. So in the month of June, uh, that catchment tank got about as low as I've ever seen it. And I was getting concerned about it and caught about a thousand gallons last night as this hurricane moisture moves in and that thing will be overflowing by the time i go to bed tonight so i'm very happy i'm not sure you'll be able to see but there's a steady stream going into that tank right now and it's just just starting to come down and it's expected to be very heavy this afternoon so i'm gonna top that tank off here in the next few hours very happy about that so back here in the main house utility room uh, this is the system that's powering the whole house June was really not a great solar month and as it got towards the end of the month uh, this uh, 600 amp hour battery bank was starting to get low enough that I thought about putting a charge on it with the generator uh, got, it was getting down to about 20% and I could tell that the next few days it was just going to continue to go down and I really contemplated you know firing up the generator a gallon of gas but it's about six bucks a gallon right now so the beauty of not having to do that is simply because I have a little redundancy to this system So what I did uh, when I knew that I was going to uh, need to do something with that other system, uh, some supplemental charge, is I switched the refrigerator over to this little standalone system that I use out here in the shop. And I decided to uh, disconnect only the refrigerator from the main house system and tie that into uh, this system powered by that power queen battery all the components that I've gone over before and and ran the rest of the house on the main house bank which just lights TV everything else except the refrigerator and it was perfect because then I was able to do the video about running that refrigerator as you saw my one of my most recent videos about running the refrigerator for about a week on this system and in the meantime, uh, the main house bank charged right up to full. So in the week of that experiment of running this uh, system, running that refrigerator for a week, the other system got 100% full and I was able to not fire up the generator. So uh, there's the importance uh, for me out here having just a little redundancy to the system so I can unplug that refrigerator which is always on 24 7 so it's the, the main draw of the household and it was a perfect segue for me to do a little experiment on just one battery running that refrigerator for a week which it did just perfectly and now I've got it back up all systems got hundred percent full yesterday before this rain started moving in so I'm in good shape. Uh, it's going to stay dark and rainy for a couple of days, which is perfect. It's going to boost up the water supply, which is very important here. So that's like liquid gold for us. So yeah, I was able to the entire month of June uh, not use the generator at all. I thought about using it in a couple of experiments, but at six bucks a gallon for gasoline, any chance I get to not fire that up, I'm not going to. So I went the entire month of June, zero on gas to run this system or to run the entire household, shop, everything included. 
So the main house system, which you're all familiar with, and then this one, a little, just small standalone system, made all the difference. I could give that main house bank a little break, charge it up for a few days, and still keep everything running just perfectly. And it's just a little bit of a sunshine coming in right now, preparing for some pretty heavy rain. Going to fill that tank out there up completely full. That'll be several months worth of water if it never rained again. So we'll be in very good shape water wise. So for those of you that have been following the channel know I'm always talking about uh, redundancy in my systems out here and how we make those work for ourselves out here. Uh, giving our conditions which are sometimes not the most ideal for solar but we're making it work so in two months uh, the total cost would be about five bucks because back in May uh, did put a gallon into that uh, system but I don't think I'm gonna have to be doing that hardly at all if ever again that's the goal zero gas to sustain an off-grid lifestyle. Always want the generator for a backup, but strictly only as a backup. Other than that, let the sun do its thing, give you what you need, build accordingly to your conditions, which obviously may vary, and prepare for the storm, which is coming, and it's on its way. And I'm happy about that. I got room to hold a few thousand gallons more of water and that's gonna happen today. All right, everybody, hope you're doing great. Plan for the storms, they're coming. Aloha.